what's up this is atomic swift and i'm b back <clears throat> sorry about that with another video ignore the mess behind me i know it's a dump my drone's in the way my arcade machine okay but this video if you couldn't tell by the description i'm going to show you how to set the resolution in uh mac os 10.14 which is uh, mac os mojave on vmware workstation 15 now I don't know if this works in older versions of uh, VMware Workstation. I'm using VMware Workstation uh, Pro 15 or 15 Pro, however you want to say it. Okay, so I've got my virtual machine open, which is Mac OS 10.14 uh, Mojave. Okay, now I'm going to show you. So the web page you want to go to to uh, to get this. I found this on insanelymac.com. Um, I'll show you. Let me see where was the. Uh, damn it! I don't think I accidentally closed it out on my other screen. Just one second. One second. OS. Uh. Oh, oh no. Let's we'll see. Damn it. One second. One second. I'll bring the link up here. Okay. So VMware Workstation. Okay, I found this by typing uh, Mac Mac OS or Mac OS Sierra Display, and this is where I found it at. So this is on, this uh, right now. We're looking on the screen. You're looking at my Windows desktop. So I found it insanely Mac. This whole thing right here. So now what you're gonna do to get this to work, and it's a pretty cool little trick. Um, I found it, like I said, by looking on the settings for Sierra. Um, the one I found to do it specifically for Mojave did not work for me. This one I found for Sahara worked perfectly, and I will demonstrate it in just one second. So the command you're looking at, ignore this right here. Ignore this. Scroll down to this one that says sudo. So you're going to do the sudo, and then you're going to copy and paste this. And then what you're going to do, so I, like I said, I've got it open right here. So here we'll go back into my VMware. So I'm going to scroll down. Well, first I'm going to get rid of this stupid bullshit here. Okay. You see it right there? Pseudo um, library, blah, 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 1080. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you real quick. If you go to about, about my Mac, you go to my Mac here. We're going to go to displays. We're going to see 1024 by 768. And I'm just going to show you that that is what mine is at. Now, what you want to do is you want to click this little hourglass, and you're going to type terminal hit enter see and you can see it right here I've already done it before over and over I was fucking with it you can use you can use this command see so you paste it um, you see right here I keep trying to point at the screen like an idiot like you're seeing that okay so you can change it to 1024 by 768 that's how I put it back to what it was to what it was before which is this right here but if you just paste it exactly like you see it on that screen then hit enter it's gonna ask for your password and you just type your password it will not show up on there hit enter bam there you go look at that now close out close out see look see look at that 1920 by 1080 display it's think I had a it thinks I have a 30 inch screen I don't know why that is but um, and like I said you can't so if, if I scroll down here I can see my whole uh, uh, launch pad or whatever I forget what Mac call, calls that so you know it's bullshit that you're gonna have to do that so then you just hit view go to full screen and there you go Mac OS and uh, like I said we got everything here um, like I said um, you know I made this video because a lot of people have been commenting asking me how to change a display so I made this video to show you like I said it's not even in my Sierra this is in Mojave um, just make sure that you install VMware tools. You have to have VMware tools in order for this to work because if you notice in the code, um, damn it, I closed it again. I'm <laughs> like a fucking idiot. Oh, man. Um, here, let me back out of here. Back out of full screen. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, see, because if you look in the command, it's using VMware tools to do that. So make sure that you go to VMware Tools, which is really easy to do. So from your main VMware Workstation screen, you go to VM. And then uh, if you haven't installed tools, it's going to tell you reinstall tools. So I'm just going to click it so you'll see what to see. See, it'll come up. You don't want to install it 
like uh, install it over your previous installation. So if you want to do a clean install, make sure you uh, uninstall it first. And once you do the VMware tools and you run that little code, it's no problem. Um, I'll, I'll put the uh, the link down in the description for that web page. And then, uh, like I said, just go go into your VMware workstation, um, open up your Mac OS, um, go to my YouTube video inside your uh, browser, and then you you know you could easily copy and uh, paste from in there, and get it to work. And uh, I appreciate all the likes and comments. I cannot believe my VMware workstation Mac OS uh, Mojave installation tutorial has over 10,000 views. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for watching all my videos. Thanks for likes, comments. Um, thanks for subscribing. Um, I hope this helped you out. If you have any more questions, ask them down in the comments. And uh, as always, bye for now.